Hi friends, I'm Lisa Roberry. And I'm Sean Roberry. And we are the Roberries. Welcome back to our channel, friends. We already know since we see Sean here, we have some first sniffs to do together. Uh, the last the last time he was tied up, honestly, it's actually really, it's a good thing that we are able to do this first sniffs together because the man is busy. <laughs> He's really busy. I actually just came in. He was also like, do you have time to do some first sniffs with me? <laughs> He's like, ah. As long as I don't have to shave, let's do it. <laughs> So um, he's just a super, super busy guy, and I'm really glad that we have him here to be able to do some first sniffs together. So thank you so much for your time. Well, thank you for having me. I really <laughs> appreciate it. So we are going to be sniffing through the Sense of the Season collection, which is launching on November 1st. So these are legit first sniffs, well, at least for two of them. We have two brand new scents, and we have three returning fragrances as well. But I think these are gonna. this is going to be all first sniffs for you. That's right, dear. Entirely. That's right. We okay. got all six. There's five. Oh. <laughs> he's really thrown off because when you open up the box, it's like it's even. So he's like, you said there were five. There's six. It should be six. Because because they're they're even and they're not like, you know, uneven. Like, no, there's a little cardboard trick in there. So this is going to be available. You can purchase the bars individually for six dollars. That's US pricing. Or you can actually purchase um, all four. Five. You almost got me saying six. All five of these with this cute little box for $25. Again, that's US pricing, and that will include one of each of the scents. So, are you ready to get sniffing? Let's do it. Let's do it, dude. All right. So, I guess, should we do the, the new ones? For, I'll let you decide. Okay. Let's do that. <laughs> there's two new ones, and there's three returning. So the new ones are caramel praline cake and frosted white pine. Those are mm. the two new ones. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm really excited for this. And they are legit first ups. I know we're like at the end of the month mm -hmm. and mm. this is all about to launch, but mm -hmm. I was very disciplined and I did not pop any of these open. Okay, so what are we starting with, sir? Are we doing the the returning or the new really looks like you have them we're gonna mixed go here we're gonna go in this order here. okay we're gonna go so we're gonna mix it up <laughs> we're gonna mix it up so the first one we are gonna start off with is peppermint rush peppermint rush so this one is a returning fragrance i don't know if my camera's picking up any of this but um this is a returning fragrance and so if you love a good peppermint scent you're probably gonna like this a lot um and if you're familiar with this it's returning. Mm -hmm. So if you get a rush from peppermint, <laughs> this is scent. the scent for you. There you go. All right, here we go. Ah, yes. Yep. That's it's exactly. peppermint. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's all peppermint. <laughs> I prefer a little sweetness to my peppermint scents, but that's okay. If you love peppermint scents, this is totally for you. So peppermint rush is peppermint. This is described as peppermint, sweet vanilla. <laughs> Uh, and an accord of freshly fallen snow. I love me some freshly fallen snow, but I don't recall it having a scent. Mm. Just, um, this is just, just peppermint. Just peppermint. <laughs> like, so if you are put off by bakery scents, if you are put off by vanilla scents, you're like, I don't want any vanilla in my peppermint. So um, this, this is gonna be for you. Don't be put off by the fact that there is vanilla in the description because I promise you, at least for the rowberries, we do not pick up the vanilla in this. Yeah. What's next, sir? Uh, next is going to be Frosted White Pine. Frosted White Pine. This is a brand new one, and it is a really pretty kind of green wax. Okay, this one, legit first sniffs over here to, to my sniffer here. And mine, too. Ooh, perfect. Bing. <laughs> Ready, go. I like this, but there's something, there's something, there's something in this. It's it's a it's a good Christmas tree scent, and I, I do like it. Don't don't put the the pause. Don't look too much into the pause. Um, I do like it, but yeah. there's there's something. See, I like my outdoorsy pine scents outside when I'm <laughs> camping. I don't know that I want it inside. I do, because <laughs> it smells too Christmassy. Yeah, Is that why? that's a big part of it. Yeah, that's a big part of it. By but the way, it's it's nice, but I, really like I wouldn't. It. I'm almost picking up like there's almost like a peppery note, like mm. 
It's almost like a peppery note to my nose. But it is very Christmassy. By the way, um, blue spruce. Blue, a little blue spruce. Uh, by the way, uh, the dogs are like meandering around and like drinking water. So if you hear them drinking, that's that's we're just living our real life here at the Rowberry House. Really special dogs here. Yeah. Okay. So frosted white pine. Frosted white pine, brand new, is described as pine needles and crisp greens shiver in winter air. So I agree with that. But I, there's another note in here that's just, um, it's just different. Not bad, it's not bad. It's just, it's just a little different. Like different than very snowy spruce or iced pine. Actually, this might be like very snowy spruce and, and, ice, ice, pine. and ice pine had a baby, mm -hmm. to be honest. But there is that like kind of interesting note in there. Okay, what's next? All right, there we go. Caramel, caramel. How you pronounce it? Tomato, tomato. Yep. Uh, Perline cake. Why you do that? <laughs> this is caramel praline cake. Oh yes, this is gonna be the one that has my heart. I feel like Perline. Another brand new scent. Don't. You know what? This is this is where <laughs> like he he's a jokester and he likes to pronounce things wrong, but then it comes back to bite him because then when we're you know at a doctor's office. And he says something wrong. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay, are you ready? There we go. Okay, ready caramel go. praline cake. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's your jam. That's oh, a strong this one. is my jam and my jelly. This is so good. Oh, okay, this has my heart so happy because I feel like the last couple of like really true, tried and true, like bakery scents that I like had in my mind what they were going to smell yeah. like, they were a little bit of a letdown, but this. Oh, this. <laughs> yeah. About one cube will do your whole house. No. Yeah. And your neighbors, too. Watch me. Okay. Oh, this is That's good. Oh, this wrong. is This is good. This is so good. Okay. New caramel praline cake is sweet praline and a splash of buttery vanilla covered in caramel drizzle. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I definitely agree with all of this. Yeah. I love everything that's happening here. Add that to our club. It is gonna go in our club. Absolutely. No matter it, what it, you think about it. It already is. Okay, what's next? All right, next one is Sugar Plum Berry. Sugar Plum Berry. So this one is making a return. This one was actually around for a holiday brick promotion and since he decided to bring it back and add it to the Sense of the Season collection. Nicely done, Sensi. Nicely done, Sensi. All right, here we go. Ah, yes, I love this. I feel like that's if you what? That's an interesting. It's kind of like a spiced berry. Yeah. It's spiced berry, but also like a tiny hint of Christmas tree. Do you feel like? Yeah. That's some strong stuff, man. I know. That's really Get good. your money's worth. Get your money's worth. <sighs> It'd be interesting to to warm it and see what it's mm -hmm. what it's like. It's, I, it's, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you like dancing sugar plums, I feel like you'll like this as well. Jeweled pomegranate, same type of scent, I feel like. Yeah. Hmm. Sugar plum berry. I'm really happy that this one's making a return. So this one is described as sugar plum berry, a jolly brew of spiced citrus. There's citrus in this. Yeah. Citrus peels. Peels. Evergreen berries, sugar plums, and cinnamon sticks. <clears throat> so I totally agree with that. Do you? Agree yeah. With that? Yeah. So it kind of grown on me. Yeah. The more. Yeah, I'd be real interested to see how it is once we uh, warm it. As soon as this video ends. Heck yes. I actually do need to change up the warmer, so yeah. maybe that will be it. It's been, a, yeah, at least 12 hours since last time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last but most certainly not least Homestead Holiday. Homestead Holiday. And this one I will always remember. By the way, um,. I'm trying not to cut you off because it was mentioned in our last collab video together mm -hmm. <laughs> that I don't let him speak enough. Yeah. So it's true. It's true. Welcome to my life. <laughs> See, but I'm trying to let it breathe and let you talk more if you have the commentary. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that. I appreciate that. He's, he's a man of very few words. <laughs> yeah. When it comes to the sense and stuff, I, I, I'm not, 
as good as like you being able to pick out each individual scent. I just I know what I I knows what I like and I knows what I don't okay. like. <laughs> yep. Yeah, totally. that goes. All right, uh, here we go. Homestead holiday uh, it appears to have some oranges on it, so it means I'm gonna like it. Thank here we go. No. No. <laughs> What I will say about this, feel free to, to jump in and, and give your give your thoughts. No, this actually reminds me of um, someone you used to work with off camera, I will tell you who. Um, it, in, a, in a good way, because it's his wife would order this during the holidays and on cold, I don't partic I don't dislike it. It's just not one that I'm super crazy about. But we went over to their house for it was like a work like thing. And we went over to their house and they had it warming. And I was like, what are you warming? Because I knew I knew it was sensi something. I just didn't know what it was. This is the perfect um example of how those like top, mid, and base notes really do change a scent a little bit as it warms up because on cold i'm not crazy about this on warm i love it it's really nice um this to me is like a citrus potpourri yeah that's a great way to describe that yeah so that's totally what it smells like to me like it takes my growing up my mom had potpourri all over the house yeah. all over the house and so this like just takes me back to that a little bit um i again i do really like it i do think there is like a spiced citrus but there's also some earthy like floral kind of elements to this too that's giving me like potpourri vibes but um when it's warming i will say it's even better so well i'm looking forward to that <laughs> <laughs> okay so homestead holiday is described as blood orange and cinnamon freshened by fur needle so i would absolutely agree with that just think like citrus potpourri. Hmm. Hmm. What are we gonna do, sir? Uh, yeah. Okay, so as always, we like to give our our votes. There we go. We have very similar ratings. We go uh, number five. Number five. So the not the one that we dislike, but just came in fifth place. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Peppermint Rush. Peppermint Rush for both of us. Number five, Peppermint Rush. Uh, this was a tough one here between the next two, but I went Frosted White Pine. I went Frosted White Pine for my number four. Number three is going to be Homestead Holiday. How weird. Number three is my Homestead Holiday. <laughs> Very rarely are we like this close. Simpatico. But I will say that this is where we differ. All right, uh, my number two is going to be caramel perline cake. For me, it's sugar plum berry. But I am very happy to know that this was not your last choice. <laughs> no, it's actually. It's really nice. Yeah. For me, it's sugar plum berry. It's strong. It's like, yeah. It's strong. It's strong. It's uh, strong. And then number one, sugar plum berry. Mm mm. Caramel praline cake. Uh uh. Oh, it's so good. Oh, this is just bakery perfection. It is sweet, oh, warm, just a lot of, comforting. A lot of spice in all this. It's that time of year. Christmassy tis, stuff. Tis the season. Well, so, what were you going to say? Give me to spring because I want my citrus. Citrus and fruity and mm -hmm. we will be there before you know it. There you have it. So that is our first reactions, first sniffs of the Scents of the Season collection. Again, these scents will be available as individual bars if you are only interested in a couple of them. You can do bundle and save. You can do three bar bundle or even a six bar bundle and get yourself a whole six pack of, pra of caramel praline cake because you're going to need it. Um, you can mix and match if you want to do three of a scent, three of another scent, or mix and match with other um, regular Scentsy bars, not licensed Scentsy bars. Or you can get the whole box the whole box with one of each for $25 which is a great price as well so are all five of these available to be added to your Scentsy Club you better believe it so if you are someone who thank you for asking you're very welcome. <laughs> uh, so if you are someone who you were <laughs> you were around for the sugar plum berry brick um, and you missed out on adding it to your club or maybe you accidentally removed it it's back and all five of these are going to be available to add to your Scentsy Club 
Same with home, Homestead Holiday. I know a lot of people um, really miss this scent because like I said, it was around previously um, until Scentsy decided to discontinue it. So this one was one of those scents that did come around every fall and winter season um, for several years and then just didn't. And then, I mean, not to mention these two brand new scents that are absolutely amazing. So I'm here for it. Man, that caramel praline cake, man. Yeah. Mm, so good. So as always, we are accepting pre-orders. So if you would like to be added to our order list, I will um, go ahead and link the order form down below in the description. You don't have to be local to us. So unprofessional. Um, you don't have to be local to us. Um, we place the order for you and then it's shipped directly to you. So if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Do you have anything to say? Uh, no, I don't think so. Just thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Get your uh, your pet spayed and neutered. Oh my gosh. Uh, um, this guy. What, what does uh, Julie say? Uh, love one another. Uh, be kind. Be kind. But first. All right. Rubber's out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. See ya.